As far as we know, this is the first large-scale study um, of in-home telerehabilitation in the world. I think this is the first really complete study where we have learnt uh, how to interact with people in their homes, um, take them right through a training program over many weeks, measure the outcome and then also of course develop the technology that allows all of this to happen. I really hope it, uh, it reaches as many people as it can uh, and the reason why I'm saying it is because we're seeing such positive results in our studies. So I really hope that anyone who had a stroke or spinal cord injury can really benefit from this. Conventional therapy, you go to a place and you just do their functional, they try to incorporate into a functional task. We sneak the functions into the game, they enjoy it. Most of the time I have to tell the person, okay, your hour is up, because they keep wanting to keep going. Good job, Jeannie. A device like the Rejoice um, is useful uh, for people because it can be installed in their own home very simply uh, and people can use it in the comfort of their own home without having to travel um, and uh, and the tele-rehabilitation enables the therapist to still keep in touch with them to monitor their progress and to uh, you know, deal with any difficulties they might be having. And that, I think, is a very important way of continuing to enable people to keep on improving, um, but not tying them to the hospital's um, you know, apron strings. Uh, it's allowing them to get on with their own lives. When I woke up in the hospital, I couldn't move my arms, I couldn't move my hands, and I thought, how am I going to live my life? And then when I started doing this, a lot more things started coming back for me. Like I'm able to hold um, my brush with my hand, brush my own hair, brush my own teeth, feed myself. Um, since this, I've also gone back to playing with a Sony PlayStation and kicked my husband's butt at a lot of games, so I'm happy about that.